kiddos. So what we are going to do today is we are going to talk about brainstorming. Um, so we're going to start getting into a writing unit where we are working on expository or informational writing. Um, it's really almost like opinion writing. And I want you to notice that like everything we've kind of done as far as writing up to now has been opinion writing um, because we're basically going to be giving our opinion. So for the next several weeks, all of our prompts are going to ask us questions like, um, what is your favorite movie? What is your favorite vacation spot? Um, who is your best friend? Um, who is your favorite teacher? Those kinds of questions. Um, and we're just going to be kind of writing about favorite foods, like those kinds of things. Um, we're going to be writing about um, things that we like because this is the type of writing that you're going to do on the ACT Aspire in March. Now, I know we didn't get to take this test in third grade. Um, COVID. Um, hopefully, if it's years from now and you're watching this video, you've been taking the test and it's not a big deal. Um, but we are asked to do on demand, you get a prompt, 45 minutes and write. Um, and so this brainstorm is going to set you up for that. So basically a brainstorm, A. so this is what I'm saying, brainstorm is just a list. Okay. It is not in complete sentences, and it's a place to come up with ideas, okay? So we're going to use a brainstorm that I think that you're probably pretty familiar with, um, and it is a bubble brainstorm, okay? So let's kind of go over what that outline's going to look like. So ooh, I don't know what just happened. Sorry, kiddos. Technical difficulties, but we got it back. Um, it's a bubble brainstorm. It's something that you're probably pretty familiar with. But the colors that we are going to be using in writing are colors that you're probably also familiar with. We're going to be using a green. We're going to be using a red. And we are going to be using a yellow. And so if you have these colors in markers, colored pencils, crayons, go ahead and go grab those. Um, and in just a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to brainstorm um, for a topic. And after after I model for you what a brainstorm looks like. So you're going to want to have those colors handy to help you make your bubble. So when you make your bubble, your center bubble is going to be green. This is going to be the topic of your essay, what your essay is going to be about. And then you're going to jut out these three little lines and give it three yellow bubbles. These yellow bubbles are reasons or details. Okay, so yellow bubbles are reasons and details. I don't know if y'all lost me for just a second. I lost you for just a second. So I hope that you can still see my screen. Reasons and details. So this bubble would be reason number one. This bubble would be reason number two. And this bubble would be reason number three. And then off of that, kiddos, are going to be two to three red lines. So before I ever fill out my brainstorm, I can put this on a piece of paper because this is what our brainstorm is going to look like every single time. Okay. Oop, I said reasons and details. I lied. Yellow is reasons. Red are our details. Now this is probably a color system that you've seen before. Okay. Green is going to be your topic. Yellow is your reasons and red are your details. And that is because it is similar to, let's see if you can guess it when I get it written down here. What does that look like to you? It's a stoplight, okay? So green means go. I'm going to tell you about my topic. I'm going to tell you what we're writing about. Yellow, I need to slow down a little bit. I need to give you a reason. And then in red, I'm going to stop all together. And I'm going to give you some details about those reasons. So it's our stoplight writing. So, for example, the one that we are going to be working on this week is going to be our topic is going to be favorite movie. Okay? 
an easy one that we all have a favorite movie. And so I'm going to show you really quickly how to fill out this brainstorm. And then I'm going to let you loose to make your own brainstorm. There is going to be an anchor chart on Google Classroom that you can go and access that will have all of this information from the video on it um, that you can be looking at while you are working. Okay. So favorite movie. All right. So when I write about my favorite movie, remember the middle is my topic. And so my favorite movie happens to be Harry Potter. Okay. I love Harry Potter. Um, so I've got my topic. I know I'm going to write about my favorite movie being Harry Potter, but I got to slow down and give some reasons. I need to give three reasons why I love Harry Potter. Why do I like these movies? Why do I come back to them and watch them? Okay. Well, I like that there's fantasy. And if you don't know what fantasy means, kiddos, it just means for some reason, my iPad keeps disconnecting. There we go. I hope that you can see that. Um, I don't know if you can. Oh, you can. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so fantasy means something that could not happen in real life. These movies are make-believe. They are not true. They're not real. Nothing in these movies could ever happen in real life. It is fantasy, okay? All right, the second reason that I love Harry Potter is because it is full of action. Okay, it is action packed. And because it has comedy or it's funny, okay? Now, it does not matter where reason one, reason two, or reason three go. They can go anywhere in here as long as you have your three reasons, okay? All right, so I'm gonna write about Harry Potter and I'm gonna say that I like this movie because it's full of fantasy, packed with action and sprinkled with comedy. Lots of little spots throughout there that are funny. But according to my stoplight, I need to stop altogether and give details. Now, sometimes we struggle to give details. Details. It's the why or it's the examples, okay? It's the why and it's the examples. So. Let's think about this way, fantasy. Well, I need to give some examples of there being fantasy. Well, this movie, there are dragons. Um, in this movie, there is magic. And maybe I wanna give it a reason, if I can only come up with two examples, okay? I maybe wanna give why I like fantasy. And it's because it takes me to another world. And what I mean by that, kiddos, is that it literally, for the two hours that I watch this movie, I'm not thinking about anything else that's going on around me. I'm not thinking about the world. I'm not thinking about my issues. I'm just thinking about, wow, this is a captivating movie. It takes me to another world. That's what I love about fantasy. All right, so if I'm going to give some examples about comedy. All right, well, I've got lots of examples. So Ron is scared of spiders. So this is an example of a funny part to me. Another funny part was a character named Draco got turned into a ferret. It was super funny. I laughed really hard. I would, And when I finally, y'all, I'm old. I had DVDs, okay? When I finally got it on DVD, I remember like rewinding it and watching this scene over and over again because I was giggling. And that's a good detail to put into your writing, right? Um, and then maybe I say that I like comedy because laughing makes me feel good, okay? I feel good when I laugh, all right? And then last with action, I need to come up with three details um, about action. And so I'm going to say something like um, when he fights... I'm going to spell this name wrong. I lost you guys again. There we go. When he fights Voldemort. Um, another scene from action is they play a game called, I'm also going to spell this wrong, and it's okay because it's a brainstorm. If it's spelled wrong, it's okay. They play a game called Quidditch. Um, and I like action. So I could say I like action because it keeps me on edge of my seat, right? Keeps my eyes glued to the TV. 
All right, kiddos. So I want you to look at my brainstorm here. And yes, there are misspelled words and that is okay. They are not in complete sentences. Okay. This is mine. When I look at this, I'm going to know, oh yeah, I'm going to talk about that scene where they have to fight dragons in Goblet of Fire. Oh, I'm going to talk about that scene where Harry learns that he's a wizard. Or I'm going to talk about how the fantasy takes me to another world. That's stuff for me. That's my, these are my clues. My brainstorm is just here to help me, okay? So it is not done in complete sentences. Um, and it's just a way to get my writing together. So what I'm going to ask for um, from you today is to brainstorm. Okay, I want you to brainstorm. So you're going to check your agenda for your prompt. You're going to create a brainstorm. Um, and this video is probably gonna be a video that you see all of the time. Come back to it to help you anytime we are brainstorming during this writing unit. Um, and don't forget to access your brainstorm um, anchor chart that is going to be on Google Classroom. Um, and just make sure, kiddos, that if you have any questions or you need help with anything, please, please, please let me know. Let me know what you need help with. All right, kiddos. Thanks so much um, for sticking with me and getting through it with me today. Um, make sure that you let me know if you have any questions or you need anything um, while you are brainstorming.